reaction now following a Target 12 Investigators exclusive. As we first revealed last night, an illegal immigrant helped to build, of all things, the new federal immigration building in Johnston. Now, a state senator says his legislation could have prevented this latest immigration dust-up. Target 12 Investigator Tim White is live now with exclusive details. Karen, despite the grim headlines, Senator Mark Cody says his e-verify -verif e legislation isn't dead yet. The bill never saw the light of day in the Senate last session after being stalled by leadership. We've learned that just yesterday, Cody received an important phone call that has breathed new life into e-verify. In our exclusive Target 12 investigation, an undocumented worker admitted he was paid under the table to help build the new federal immigration building in Johnston. The worker filed a lien against the property, claiming a subcontractor failed to pay for some of his work. The subcontractor denies the allegations. But Senator Mark Cody, author of the proposed E-Verify legislation, calls the whole scandal an injustice to out-of-work Rhode Islanders. If we had mandatory use of E-Verify in Rhode Island, the chances of an incident like that happening would be very minimal and that jobs would be going to uh, legal citizens. The bill would require all employers to electronically verify the citizenship of new hires. It has died in the Senate three years running, but just yesterday, Cody got word that Senate leadership wanted to meet. To uh, review and discuss the issues of concern that they have with the bill in the hopes that we can resolve them. Cody says Majority Leader Daniel Connors has voiced concern in the past over the bill's legality. In particular, employers could be charged with filing a false document by signing a pledge to use E-Verify, then failing to check their workers. Hopefully this, these upcoming meetings will resolve that concern. Cody says a meeting with Majority Leader Connors and Senate President Teresa Piva Weed will happen before the General Assembly reconvenes the first week of September. He says he's confident there are enough votes for the bill to pass. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators are always looking for news tips. If you want to drop a dime on government waste, call our tip line at 228-1763 or you can email us at target12 at wpri.com.